Hi my loving Tiffany, thanks family. How are you all? I've had a phone call from the nurse um, from the hospital so I've got my date for the surgery which is amazing. It, I feel like I have time so um, I need to get my nails sorted. I need to go and get my nails taken off and they also said that you know where I had the pre-op assessment with the chest x-ray, the MRSA swab, what else, ECG and blood test and urine sample. Everything came back okay and normal. So surgery is going ahead. It's actually mental thinking about it because I feel like, it feels like it's been a long time. Even though it hasn't, It in my head it feels like I've been waiting for a very long time. So now that we've got the date, we can kind of plan and it's also good that I've got a few days off work because it just means that I've got a bit of me time, mentally prepare, pack everything that I need to pack and you know, I feel like I'm ready, I am ready and I thought this morning we'll go get my nails taken off so that I don't want to leave this last minute and then worry about my nails so that's the first thing I want to do today. Um, how do I feel about all this? I don't know, I think it's not hit me yet because it's all happening quite quickly now. It went through a phase where it was going so slowly, you would have known. I think loads of you always ask me as well, like, when is surgery? What is happening? And I'm always like, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. So it's nice now to have everything in date. Everything is going to be sorted out. And I'll probably be in the hospital three, four or five days. And um, it all just depends on what happens. So um, hopefully, I will also have those wires, you know last time I had those pipes, all, I called them pipes, all kind of attached to the tubes, they'll all be attached to my body, but it won't be as much as what I had in December, and I think I'll also have one on my neck, um, so I might tell them, can you do it on the same side, do you know what, it doesn't matter, I don't mind, if it means that they need to do what they need to do, but I think... It would be better because I felt that my scar was getting better and now I'm going to have another wire. They said that the tubes, they have to tell me all about the tubes but I might not even have one um, here. I will definitely have one around the lung area because that's where they need to drain it out. Um, but I'm, I'm mentally prepared for the tubes and I think last time I keep kind of, I know I shouldn't do this, but I feel like the surgery that I had last time was so hectic. I had a pelvic exenteration, if you don't know, um, that's the surgery I had in December. And so in my head, I'm thinking this should be easy. Um, I'm trying to say to myself, this is going to be easy because it's just the lung area, it's just one organ. But then another part of me is thinking, oh my goodness, if something goes wrong, this is my lungs, this is what I need to breathe. So I'm kind of, bat this is what I'm battling in my head right now. But another part of me is also saying it's going to be okay. I've been through a lot and I don't want to get emotional, but, but your girl has been through a lot. And this body, I don't know how my body is functioning because so it's been for a lot you know and I always think how amazing is the human body like God has created us so strong and to withhold so much you know I think like on a daily basis I'm thankful for my body because I would have never a few years ago if you had told me Tiffany you're going to go through cancer you're going to have chemotherapy radiotherapy pelvic exenteration I didn't even know that was a thing till I've had to have it like I didn't even know that kind of operation was a thing and now lung surgery I wouldn't have believed it but now I think wow your body can withhold so much and I need to be proud of that proud of myself and proud of my body and just believe that it will all be worth it in the end and Oh, it is a journey, isn't it? I honestly really believe that my cancer journey would be over after the pelvic exenteration surgery. I really thought that was the end of my cancer journey, but this has made me realise that 
there's never an end to this journey and I have to just live my life and this is just part of my life and it's I have moments where I can't accept it which is understandable but the most most of the time I've accepted it and it is what it is there's nothing I can do I've said this from the beginning all of this is out of my control if if I could I wish I didn't have to go through this or any of us had to go through anything bad but this is just life and we have to live it and we get thrown things you know and we have to deal with it and we have to deal with it as it comes and I do know that this hardship isn't over and there's more to come but we'll deal with it when that happens you know we got this we do we all do and we all have to we all have things thrown at us whether it's health financial family children education life we all get thrown things and it's unfair it's an unfair world we live in and i don't have the answers to why we have to face and go through this but it's all part of making us who we are today and it's going to make us stronger and it's just going to make us incredible human beings and we've got a journey to tell you know and each journey is different <laughs> me and you <laughs> we're both stripey girls stripey girls me and Emma. <laughs> i'm going to quickly go and get my nails removed Emma, okay, okay. and then we'll have breakfast oh, come on. No, no, you're okay, you relax. It's cold out there. Yeah. It's freezing! It's so cold. You stay yeah. and be cosy, cosy. You already booked though? No. Because I thought it should be okay. I'll see if it shouldn't be too busy because it's first thing in the morning. Okay. I didn't book it. Usually, but I think where it doesn't take that long, usually I go to, I make an appointment to get my nails done, but I just woke up and I thought I want to do it now because I might not have time and it's one of those things that I don't want to think about nearer the time you know I don't want to think oh I need to go and get my nails done I'd rather just finish it now get it all removed I've also got to do my toes as well get it all done and then it's a tick 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 and then I don't need to think about it I also need to start packing as well but we have time so I don't need to do that right today so at least this is done today and then the rest another time I need to get Matt to sort this area out. I also want to wash my hair as well, but we'll leave that for now. Bye, Mummy. I've been waiting in the car because it was raining quite heavy. It's still raining, but not as bad. So I think I'm just going to put my hood up. And run. And run through here. Oh. Hi, darling. On the way back. Right, perfect. Okay, hopefully we'll be home uh, around the same time. Talking. Just spoke to Matt and I'm gonna meet him at home for breakfast. So me, Amma and Matt can have breakfast together. I feel like us three, we haven't been together in a long time because we're all just so busy. Life is happening and yeah, so I'm excited for all of us to have breakfast together. I think initially we were all really, really scared. And when all this lung liver thing was happening, they both, they both wanted to give up their lives again and were like, okay, let's do this, let's do it. And I was like, no, guys, this isn't going to change our lives again. We've been through it before. We're going to do it again. We're not changing our lives. This is just part of our lives. I don't, I already felt so bad that Amma and Matt, both of their lives changed when I got diagnosed. And I didn't want that to happen again. I didn't want it to be that again because it was just so unfair on them so this time I feel like yes they are very clingy and they want to know I'm okay they're always checking up on me which is so sweet and but I've not allowed it to take over they're still living their lives they're still doing what they love doing and that's making me really happy okay let's go lock the car and then check that the car's locked <laughs> I'm gonna run because it's raining I've removed the polish off my nails. Do you know what? It might be good for my nails to have a little break from anything on it. It actually looks okay, you know? 
it doesn't matter. You know what? Your girl's having surgery and she has to have her nails done. It's funny because when I went in, they were like, why are you taking it off? Why? Because I was like, oh, I just need to take it off. I just said, oh, don't worry. I'm taking it off now. I need to take it off of my feet as well because I get shellac done on my feet as well. So I was like, I just need to take this off, but I'll be back. <laughs> hungry now I can't wait to have breakfast I'm gonna have hash browns and eggs um, and some bread I have been eating a lot more the past few weeks only because I want to have the energy for the surgery because I know I will lose weight when I'm in the hospital so um, yeah I'm gonna eat I've been eating a lot really so I said I'm so excited to come home and have breakfast with you two. They've already started without me. No, I don't mind. It's fine. I was actually going to make you two breakfast. So we did it to save time, really. Okay, no, don't worry. I wanted to explore you two. I actually wanted to make you a full breakfast with hash browns, eggs, but you two look very happy here. Oh, look what they've got here. So look at this. Amma made. Did you make this or buy this? Oh, she bought this, right, right. So, I actually bought this, chambel, and it's just coconut spice, we've talked about this before. This and baguette is the best combination, honestly. That and a cup of tea, you're sorted. It's so good, It's got because it's quite spicy, but it's coconutty, so and it's, on I'm gonna make a coffee. Right. I'm gonna make breakfast now, and then, I'll make it quickly so that I can sit and eat with these two. Oh. Look at the size of the sourdough, look. It's, a, it's a bigger than my head. Put it on your head. Is that from TikTok? Put it on your head. Um, yeah, look at that. Right, let's put some butter on it. More butter, more butter. Bigger. I'm gonna have some sourdough and chumbin. Yeah, it's nice. Sourdough. You already had it. Did you have some, yeah? <laughs> sourdough and chumbin is a combo. That needs to be put away, but don't worry about that. I'm not worrying about it. <laughs> <laughs> I am. This is gonna be put away. Don't worry. Do you know what's in my head this whole morning? It's giving bad bee. Bad bee, bad bee, bad bee. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of food here. Here you go, darling. Do you want me to cut it? Yeah, just cut it. We tied a bit off for me. I'm saying we haven't all of us had breakfast together in a long time. Not for ages, we used to do this. Haven't we? That's what I said. Yeah, I was saying we're all so busy now. To so even to get like an hour together is amazing. Jumbo mm. pump. I feel like I'm being very clumsy today. I'm dropping everything. Yummy. That's delicious. I've got to clean the kitchen, it's very, there's a lot going on so I'm going to clean it. Actually, let me just stand still and drink my coffee first. I feel like today's been very much go, go, go. And Matt and Matt have both decided they want to drop me off when I have um, the operation. But we have to be there super, super early, so they've both taken time off. Um, but we need to be there so early, so... I don't think the whole process should take that long, maybe three or four hours, so maybe they can have breakfast whilst um, I'm having surgery. I think I feel better instantly when I got the date. I felt like, right, this is good because now I can plan my days around this, you know, so it's a good thing. It's good because I haven't had anything planned since having the pre-op day, you know the day I went in to have my chest x-ray and all of that, I realised that things are going to happen quite quickly so I made sure not to plan anything like with friends or family, with work, volunteering so I, I knew it was going to happen um, so now I feel better because it just means that I have me time, I can organise things and not let anyone down, you know, I hate cancelling on people and I'm hoping I'll be all okay for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know about editing and things because I'll need time to recover um, so we'll figure it out because I don't know if I'll be able to sit up straight away um, so yeah we'll figure it out we'll figure it out put you down here right so 
Matt is running some errands. Thought today I will sit in the car with him and help him. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna sit here and give him company. I said I'm gonna help you and give you company today. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so um, I've got my laptop here. So when he's got other things to do, I can sit here on my laptop and we can get things done. I've got my laptop, I've got snacks, I've got my water bottle. So let's go. Is you ready? Nice? I don't know. Door is open. <laughs> is that your door? It was raining earlier on, but now it doesn't look like it's raining. It'll probably rain later on. Yeah, I just thought instead of staying at home on my own, it'll be a fun day out. <laughs> so we're right next to each other. <laughs> yeah, I think normally if there's two people, they sit on the outside. Yeah, <laughs> there's another seat, <laughs> but I wanted to sit right in the middle because it's the best view. <laughs> Do you want to sit down or are you okay standing up? I'm okay. Let me move over. Some water? Yeah, thanks. Look what I found. Look at this. Isn't that so cute? I'm going to hang up my jumper on there. I might put this one here. Right. Right. <laughs> Why does that make me so happy that I can hang this up here? <laughs> Chris says a snack. Just trying to organise in here because it feels a little bit messy. Right, that can sit in there. Loads of little compartments in here, so I'm just trying to make this area a little bit clean. We've stopped over, so... Um, <laughs> I don't know why I feel like such a child in here. Right. Little <laughs> <laughs> I think Matt likes that I'm here today with him because he said that in the morning he felt really like meh where it was raining oh, and things and he said that he's happy that I'm here to just to give him some company because you know I talk so much so me and him together we talk 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 <laughs> right, look who joined crap. us <laughs> <laughs> he needed somebody in to help him lift stuff off. <laughs> muscle. Nah. Muscle Jess men. was busy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go oh, and get car. a coffee now. Park in the car park. Yeah. I'm happy I came. Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. It's the next day. Um, I've got a oil on my face that's why I look greasy um, I, w I felt like my skin was feeling super dry so I just put a lot of um, facial oil just to let it kind of sink in yesterday was an absolute nightmare so I lost my camera so I lost you guys for um, a little while and I was panicking and I was like oh my goodness I've lost my camera and I just thought in that situation there was nothing I could do because I hadn't on this camera I need to put a sticker on it to write if missing please call this number I haven't done that because I've been re I've always been very careful I don't lose my things i don't lose my phone i don't lose my camera keys that kind of thing i'm very good at making sure i've got everything with me but yeah it was a moment yesterday but then we found the camera it's all okay um but it's a lesson to me because i am gonna find i don't know where i could stick my telephone number on this camera maybe on the side or i could get like a permanent white marker because my camera is black maybe i could get a white marker and just put my telephone number on it because i know if someone else finds it they'll call me i hope hopefully anyways they won't steal it and call me and say i've got your camera if you've lost it because one time matt lost his kind of work diary and at the front he wrote down his name and his telephone number and he left it somewhere, I don't know where, but they called him, someone called him and someone said, hello Matt, we've got this book, does it belong to you? And Matt found, yeah, so that's a whole another story. <laughs> and this morning what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down, I've got my bullet journal, I've got my favourite pen, I still am loving this pen. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a list of hospital things that I need to take most important thing i need to pack is all of my stoma supplies because this hospital i'm sure they would have stoma supplies because i'm not going to be the only person there with the stoma bag but because it's a lung and heart specialist hospital i don't know if 
they would have everything that I have or need. So I'm going to write a list of how many. I'm going to pack way more because I'd rather have more than less. And you all know me, that's who I am. Just on a day-to-day -day basis, I like to pack way more than I need. Have you been here? Do you remember when I was having chemo and... In the mornings before chemo, I would sit down with you and I would pack what I need for chemo. So I would pack my laptop, I would pack a book, I would pack so much. I would always pack way too much and I remember being there and just, I couldn't even do anything. I don't know if you've been here since then. If you haven't, you can go back and watch my chemo videos if you want, of course, if you want, and then end up being like this during the whole chemo, I would be so zonked out because I think I just felt so tired. But in the morning, I would always feel like, you know what, Tiff, this is your time. Take your laptop, take everything you want with you and you'll have so much time on your own to do things. But I never ended up doing that, anything. So I am going to be quite sensible with my packing, um, famous last words, but yeah, I am gonna be quite sensible. I don't need everything i guess if i take my laptop i won't need the ipad but i like watching netflix on the ipad so i probably will need both i need some pajamas i am going to go and buy some new pajamas i do have so many i've got i love pajamas i live in them in the house i just like wearing cozy clothes but i want to buy a nice pair just for the hospital just a new pair you know because it'll make me feel good and I think if I'm there and I feel a bit sad and the thought of having kind of new pajamas that will make me happy it's the it's those things that make me happy and I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna go buy a new set of pajamas from M&S because they're so soft and comfortable um, what else do I really need toothbrush shower gel I don't need to take a towel with me because they said they'll have a towel. Oh, do you know what I need to do? Do you remember they gave me a list of things that I need to bring? I left that in the car. So when I went for my pre-op assessment, they gave me all these leaflets and things. And one of those was the things that I need to pack. Maybe I should look back on that for reference. Do you know what? Let me do that. Um, but before, let's go and let's go to the kitchen because Amma wants to make me a juice because we have all the fruits. We've got apples, oranges, ginger, turmeric and carrots. So we'll make a juice with Amma and then I'll sit and write a list. Okay, that's the plan. Sorry, I feel like I'm all over. Oh look, Amma's already cut everything up. Um, sorry, I feel like, I feel like I have a lot to do, but I don't. All I need to do is pack and the reason why I want to start packing now is because I don't want to think about it closer to the time. I just kind of want to get it done and just be really organised, you know. I want this whole process to be... I want the whole process, you know, the packing process, because I don't really want to go, but I need to go. So I want to make this part a little bit easy. Amma's here. Amma's in pyjamas. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Can you see? We've got oranges, lemon, apples, turmeric, ginger. That's it, isn't it? And carrots. And carrots. So that's a nice big bowl of fruits for the morning. Alma said there's green apples and red apples. So we've got two mm. types. I really want to take a bite. Cheers, Alma. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yes. really refreshing I would pay we haven't done that in a long yeah. time I would pay five no six pounds how much would you pay yeah. Five pounds. Five pounds. <laughs> no, 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 it puts everything it's, it's gone up, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah everything's gone up. Okay, so, yeah. yeah, six pounds, five, five pounds. pounds. I haven't done that game in a long time. Like, how much would you pay? Here is everything. Right, I've got the leaflets from the hospital. Hold on a moment. It's, this is probably the least flattering angle, but it's fine. Let's have a look. Okay, that's the list of things. What to bring into hospital with you for your inpatient stay? So toothbrush, soap, hairbrush, clothing, footwear. I'm going to take my Crocs, of course. I think Crocs is perfect for the hospital. 
Right, okay, not too many things on there, so, right, I will write my list now. I don't need a lot, and also, Amma and Matt will be coming to see me as well, so if I leave anything, I can tell them to bring it for the next day. So, let's write. I've put everything out on the floor here, so um, I've decided I'm going to take this rucksack, um, just because I think I'll be able to pack quite a lot in here, and it just means that if I take a suitcase, I'll end up packing way more than I need. So I thought if I kind of limit myself to just this suitcase, I'll be able to kind of be better with how much I'm taking with me. And also I'm going to go through this box. If you watched my few videos, few videos ago, you would have seen that my friend got me a box full of things that I should take to the hospital. So I just kept it in here because I thought when I start packing, then I'll take things out. So I'm going to take this book. I'm going to take the face mask and the eye mask, hand sanitizer, dry shampoo, hand cream, lip balm, this, this. If you haven't seen that video, it's called... What was it called? I'll leave it linked below. I can't remember the name of the video, but I'll, it kind of I, I go through this box. Okay, I think I'm good. I think this is all I'm going to take with me. Um, and then I've just got to add my pajamas and toothbrush and things like that right at the end. So, right, I'll show you. I've got kind of my toiletry area over there, which I'll include kind of shower gel and toothbrush. I've got my stoma supplies in here, so that's all together, stoma supplies, and then I've got these bits as well, uh, and then my bag, I don't know if everything will fit in here, right, I don't know, maybe I'll take two bags with me, so one bag would be just solely kind of toiletries and stoma supplies and then this bag will be kind of pajamas laptop chargers that kind of thing yeah i think that will make more sense i'll also take that a little kind of bag hold on let me go find one i have decided to take two bags so this one will be all the stoma supplies and like toiletries like my deodorant um hair bits I don't need two moisturizers, so yeah, I need to learn to kind of cut things out. Maybe I'll keep this for after I come back. I'll keep this in the fridge, and maybe after I'm back from the hospital, I'll use this. So this will be after the surgery, when I'm back at home and I'm relaxing. I'll take this moisturizer, because this is vitamin E brightening moisturizing cream. So I'll take this, and it's really nice and small as well, so it's gonna fit perfectly. Right, okay, I feel good now. I feel like progress is happening so two bags and that's it amma and matt will come to visit as well so when they do if i forget to pack something i can just tell them like please can you bring this along with you so it's fine i need a break from packing and all of this because i felt really like ah <gasps> all of a sudden i'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh it feels real now because um everything's being packed I said to Amma, let's go to M&S and go look at pyjamas. And you know when you leave the house, you feel like less anxious, right? So I think going to buy new pyjamas is going to make me really happy. And um, the weather, it looks all right. It's not raining, but it's it will probably rain a little while just because that's what it's been like here. And I think I'm going to pop into my sister's as well, see the kids and give them a big cuddle because that always makes me feel good. So we're doing things that make us super happy. Remember, not just happy, but super happy. We are going to Amma's favourite shop. Amma, oh, you wanna say hi? Hi everyone. <laughs> I think you already said hi, yeah, did you? Second day. Second day. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Amma's favourite shop, M&S, um, to look at pyjamas. Amma was like, Tiffany, you have so many pyjamas. Why do you need another one? And I just said, Amma, let's just go have a look. If there's anything that's cute and I like it then let's get one i'm only allowed one pajamas because amma showed me my drawer of all the pajamas that i've got yeah, well, 
some Christmas pajamas and Amma said not yet so I'm not buying anything Christmas related till after I'm at, out of the hospital um, and then I'm gonna go full-on Christmas shopping <laughs> I'm gonna buy Christmas pajamas I'm gonna buy new decorations crackers the whole lot I want to just decorate because last year I didn't I wasn't at home for Christmas as you know um, we're going to Smith Superstores because we're gonna go and look for a toy for Aston, sorry, the lighting is it. Yeah, we're gonna look for a toy for my little nephew. We're in the toy shop. There's so many people. I think everyone's doing Christmas shopping, but we have no idea. We've already got Ella a toy. We've got some ducks, some cute little ducks, but for Aston, I have no idea what to buy him. Um, we're, we're going up to see if there's anything else up here. I'll show you quickly the pajamas. Look at it, it's cute, doesn't it? <laughs> Cute. So that's my new pajamas for the hospital. I was meant to get the ones with the um, buttons at the front, but they were all Christmas themed. And Amma said, "Not yet. You can't wear Christmas pajamas in the hospital." <laughs> There's loads of people out there, isn't there? It's really, really busy. But I think everyone's getting ready for Christmas. M&S was busy. The toy shop was super busy. I was getting really overwhelmed. I'm like, ah. Usually we bring Aston to the toy shop and then let him walk around for ages and then he gets to pick a toy I haven't been able to do that with him in a long time. So I think when I'm all better I'll do that with him after the surgery is done That'd be a nice thing to do for him. I'm at my sister's. I'm at my sister's and Amma has given me half a veggie roll to try Mmm, that's really good. I love the potato in there soft I'm home. I don't think I picked up the camera once at my sister's, but um, maybe I did actually to show the vegetable roll. And then it's so cold in the house. So I've got the, I've still got my little fleece on. I've got my blanket here. I might have a little snooze. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of a snooze on the sofa. I just feel really tired. I don't know why. I always feel like this towards the end of the day. I just feel a bit like, I think it's where it gets really cold and then it gets really dark really quickly. So I think that's why I feel sleepy. Radio. <laughs> I'm gonna go because it's been a long, long day and I feel like everything is nearly packed and I am ready to wash my hair and get some sleeps. <laughs> okay, good night everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to, you can subscribe and I will see you in my next video. I love you a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm so tired. You can see my eyes are really like sleepy. Good night. Mwah.